Hi, welcome to Healthy's video on using your calendar and scheduling appointments. Utilizing the various calendar booking and filter functionalities will ensure that providers are able to navigate their schedules seamlessly while allowing organizations to have a strong pulse on appointment activity. In this video, we'll learn how to schedule appointments and enable patients to book appointments, update appointments, filter your calendar, and pull a report on appointment history. With Healthy's calendar system, there are various ways that patient appointments can be booked. On the provider's end, the easiest way to schedule an appointment is to simply click on the time that you would like to book on your calendar. A prompt will open for you to fill in appointment details. In this window, select the patient by searching existing patients or select add a client if they do not already exist on your client list. Select the appointment type from the appointment types that you have already created. From here, make any necessary adjustments to the remaining fields, like contact type, date, and start time. The notes section allows you to add internal notes related to this appointment. Lastly, you can make this a repeating appointment. For example, if I know that I'll be working with this patient every Friday for the next four weeks, I can set this to repeating rather than going in and scheduling each individual session. Now go ahead and select add session. Once we've added that appointment on our end, the patient will begin receiving confirmations and reminders. You can make sure these settings are on in your appointment settings. Instead of scheduling the appointment type yourself, there may be times where you'd rather share a booking link with patients or embed the booking flow onto your website. There are two options for this. First, you may quickly copy and share the calendar quick share link on the left side of your menu. This will provide a booking link for all of your appointment types. Or you may want to get a more customized booking link for a single provider or a single appointment type, for example. For this option, click on more in the upper right corner of your calendar and select share and embed. Here, you can filter down these options to get a booking link for a specific combination of providers, appointment types, and locations. In this case, I'll create a booking link for myself to book a free discovery call. Now I can share this link with my patients via my website, email, or even social media for them to book the session based on my calendar availability. To copy the link, select sharing link and click on copy link. If you want to embed the link on your website, copy the embed link instead and coordinate with the person or team that has built your website. Once patients book an appointment with you, either via the sharing link or embed link, you'll see it appear on your healthy calendar. And you can also get a notification when a patient books an appointment with you if you have this notification turned on in your notification settings. Booking a group appointment is similar. We can click right on our calendar or select add in the upper right corner. And when the booking window appears, click on group session. In this case, you'll have the option to either pre-enroll patients in the group session or not and allow them to sign up for it themselves. Next, ensure the appointment details are accurate. You'll notice that for group sessions, you have the option to set a max number of attendees. That way, if you're having patients register for this session on their end, you'll be able to cap how many individuals can register. For contact type, Note that all group sessions done via video will use Zoom as the video call method. Again, we have the option to set this as a reoccurring appointment if we would like to. And when we're ready, we'll select Add Session. Keep in mind that you do need to book a group session on your calendar in order for patients to register themselves for it via a booking link. This is different from the one-on-one -on -one sessions where patients can book at any time based on your calendar availability. Once an appointment has been added to your calendar, you can update its details and status. Simply click directly on the appointment. In here, you'll be able to view the appointment details. Once an appointment has occurred or another status update takes place, we can click into here to update the appointment status. 
If it did occur, you can also add the duration in minutes. Updating the status of your appointment can be extremely useful, not only for that individual appointment, but down the road to keep an eye via a report on how many appointments are being canceled, rescheduled, no-showed, or occurred. Some appointment statuses are also tied to billing activity. For example, if you want patients to be automatically charged after an appointment has occurred. If instead you're looking to update the appointment details, such as the time or the date, click on the pencil icon in the upper right corner. Here you can adjust the specific fields and appointment notes as needed. Once you've made your adjustments, click Update and select Save. As your calendar begins to fill up with appointments, it may be helpful to utilize the filter options. On the left-hand calendar menu, you'll find several ways to filter your calendar view. First, you can toggle on or off the view of healthy appointments altogether, as well as synced appointments from your external calendar. Next, we can filter by specific pieces of information, such as appointment location, appointment type, appointment status, provider confirmation status, and client confirmation status. If we have created any color schemes, this is where we can apply those preferred color schemes. And lastly, you can toggle off the availability preview that shows as those light green blocks. Your preference of viewing events by day, week, or month is also adjustable here at the top of your calendar. Keep in mind that calendar filters do not reset themselves, meaning if you apply any of these filters and then leave the page and come back to your calendar at a later date, those filters will remain as you previously set them. So we recommend ensuring that you are setting these filters back to all or other default preferences as needed. While calendar filters assist you in short-term viewing solutions, there may be situations where you'd like to see an overview of historic appointment details. For this, you can utilize the appointments report via the reports page on your left-hand menu. The appointments report first provides a dashboard for a quick view of appointment details. These you can filter by date range and provider if applicable. For a CSV file of appointment data, click on download report in the upper right corner. This full report will provide various data points on each individual appointment, such as patient information, appointment notes, status details, and much, much more. For a deeper dive into Healthy's reporting, please see our Reporting Through Healthy tutorial video.